It is bright as crap out here. Oh my god. We're gonna go over here to this wall to talk to you guys about this, this little GoPro right here. So yeah, what's up guys? Uh, sorry if I kind of sound a little bit nasally. Um, it's kind of cold here. As you can see that I'm wearing my jacket and I've kind of gotten a little bit of cold. So if I sound weird, that's why. This video is about this little guy right here. This is a GoPro Hero 4 session. A GoPro was kind enough to send me this uh, GoPro and I really wanted to get out there and kind of test to see what it looked like. And every time I went out there to go film it, something wrong happened or it was just like it got dark quick or we got distracted. So um, I wanted to put together a little compilation of everything that I've attempted to film so far and uh, just show you guys how it films and show you what it looks like. So without further ado, here are these clips. You got a trick? You got a trick? I got to fall on my butt trick. You should fall on your butt again. Good job. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, dude, oh, don't like slip out and swing it into my car. I'm going to be so bummed. Come on, you got to <laughs> it, bruh. Very nice. Died. I messed up. Got it. That was so bad. You did it though. Yay. So we're at this spot. We found this amazing like light post flat bar thing. And Alex Buning is filming a line for either his part on the Force video or for Amigos on Sam's channel. And I'm going to go cruise off somewhere else because. I was trying a trick, but it kind of sketched me out a little bit, and I'm taking baby steps getting back on my board, and I want to be safe, so I'm going to go search around. So we have found the spot of all spots, a curb. I think Alex just landed his trick, so good job. Good job, Alex! We are going to attempt to learn no comply flips, courtesy of Sam Tabor Skating. I don't know how he does it. Oh. Did you guys see it? I don't know if it's angled correctly, but it flipped. This is the worst setup I have ever. No comply flips. I flipped one. We're going to see what happens. Oh. Well, I failed. Maybe one day I'll revisit that, but for now, I can't no comply flips. I don't know why it's easy to some people, but I honestly, I cannot do it. So I'm going to go back to see what they're doing. So I unfortunately couldn't land the no comply flip. So I found some flat ground and I'm going to do my favorite flat ground trick for you guys. And that is a fakie flip because you guys deserve at least one flip in this video for me in front of this scenic porta potty background. Welcome to Cincinnati skateboarding where we have flat ground. Except I can't skate, so that's all I would be doing anyways. What's going on guys? So um, GoPro was kind enough to send me a session and I kind of wanted to test it out, but I haven't really had a chance to do it. So we are at the warehouse today and my roommate and I, Sam, are going to skate for you. So what do you have? Anything? Yeah, I got stuff. Do it. Yeah. So yeah, um, that was all the footage that I filmed so far on this thing. Um, I really hope you guys liked it. And this thing is a beast for what it is. So some of the cons about this thing is that the navigation on the GoPro is kind of a little hard to use. There's two buttons on it, the power button and this little Wi-Fi button on the back right here. Yeah, it's just hard to use a little bit, but for like skateboarding, for example, if you're ready to film a trick that your friend's about to roll up and do and you hit the record button right before he pops up, um, it takes a little bit to start. So I'll show how that works right now. So I'll hit the power button just now. So it has like a little like three second delay thing and um, it can get annoying in some cases, but all in all, like um, it's pretty good camera. So I'm filming all this stuff right now that you're seeing of me talking on a GoPro Hero 3 Plus. It's a silver edition. And um, the quality on this compared to this GoPro right here is vastly different. The GoPro is really, really good. The navigation is just hard to use, but overall it's a great camera. They recently lowered the price, I think by $100 too for it. So if you're looking out there to get a great camera just for filming skateboarding and really good quality and what it looks like, this thing will not let you down. 
Uh, GoPro, thank you again for sending me this. I really can't wait to use this and different type of things that I come up with. But uh, stick around, guys. Um, I'm going to be filming more videos soon. But uh, as I said before, I'm just skating a lot more lately. So I'm really excited to just be back on the board. And uh, I'll try to get more footage for you. I hope you guys appreciated this Appreciated this video. I hope you guys liked this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Wee. That's why GoPros are great, because you can just toss them up in the air and catch them.